Hi, we're back here with another gun. This gun is a big surprise, so what I see with this is you're going to get it firsthand. I have a guy on YouTube channel who um, sent me some messages about this particular gun. <clears throat> Apparently he bought it and then asked me about it. And I told him, quite frankly, I think it's probably going to be another boat anchor and a piece of crap that I wouldn't waste my money on trying to find out. So with that said, he then got in touch with me and said, well, by the way, Mike, I did get that gun. As it turned out, that gun is very well made compared to the other guns that they make. And he says, throw the other ones away. This is the guy you want to keep. So the next question was, um, this was uh, Mr. Joe Nick. I hope I say your name right. Joe Nick Tort Nick Tara. Joe Nick Tara. I don't, I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. But anyway, I said, well, Joe, take a look and see what the barrel configuration is. Because one of the reasons... Um, I didn't buy the gun initially was because I figured, well, how are you going to rebarrel it? Most likely it's going to come with a bad barrel. How are you going to rebarrel it? I don't think it's possible. Why waste my money anyhow? So he looked it over for me and he said uh, the barrel can be easily rebarreled and removed. It's a matter of uh, a screw and a couple things. So with that, I wound up getting one that was on sale. So let's get into exactly what this gun is. I'm trying to hold it back a little bit because it's a little bit, we all like this air gun tension. But anyway, it's really no big deal. It's just for the guys out there who like this sort of thing. Anyway, so let's open this up and see. And I'm going to see for myself. So now this rifle was on sale. If I tell you what I paid for it, it's going to spoil it because you're going to say, well, I don't care. <laughs> I'm not, I don't need a rifle that costs that little. Well, I'll tell you, it was um, on sale. I grabbed it on sale from Field Supply. It was $124 plus a couple bucks. They charge like six bucks or four bucks for shipping. So within two days, the rifle went back up to normal price of 244 or whatever the heck they're asking for it but it was a lot more and i wasn't willing to pay that much for this rifle and you're probably going oh, all right mike we know what this is going to be it's got to be some type of hatson right all right it's some type of hatson i'll give you that so let's check this hatson out let's see what it's all about and let's see if it was worth 124 dollars And the first thing, it came in a box that fits this thing like a glove. So I said uh, before, this came from Field Supply, or other known, uh, their, their other name, they have Brand Shopper written on it. So this is the Hatson 100X Walnut Stock. And I um, got the spring version because wasn't interested in a gas ram version not interested if i want gas ram i'll make it a gas ram but i'm always interested in the spring version because you can do so much more with a spring you cannot do much with the gas ram you're stuck with what you get now if the gas ram suits your hunting purposes go for it i'm not telling you you know anything you don't already know well here's the gun i'm going to put it down and as typical Hatson, you get a, um, you get one of these, which I never use. I just collect them. Um, but here's here's the gun. It is a little weighty. It's an underlever, and I guess that's going to be the scope stop. Don't have my glasses on, but that's what kind of looks like. So let's get rid of this. So this is the long-awaited um, Hatson 100X. Usually there's an end here that's open, but there's just nothing here. It's actually sealed up. So this is a point, you know what? I don't even remember what caliber I grabbed. It may be a 177 and I already figured in my head it's gonna need a new barrel, so just get it and re-barrel it. 
and we won't know anyway today what this barrel is like we'll have to find out later so off the bat the gun has a little bit of weight let me see what caliber this is a little bit of oil here but it uh, looks very nice actually let's see where is it written what caliber here we go yep it's a 177 so with that it's going to get rebarreled um, I believe this is the same power as a Hatson 95 it certainly isn't the Hatson 95 as far as design it has that um, port where you push back you load the pellet then you lock this and then you cock it deal going on here so as far as the rifle you know what um it's walnut stock it has some nice figure and nice grain i can't complain with that i don't know if you can even see it but there's some this is actually a very nice looking stock not bad for 124 bucks but the main thing was joe looked it over and i don't have time to do that now but we're going to get into this and we're going to find out what it takes to get rid of this barrel and put a better barrel in it and then get this gun tuned and see what this baby does um length of pull i don't know what it is but it feels fine it's a typical quadro trigger so we know they can be worked it has this for the uh, release for the bear trap which is pretty cool this is a gun that i refused to buy because like i said before i figured it was just going to be a piece of crap boat anchor and uh, actually joe says this is made better than the springers that this is the gun that you would want to have and work and do something with so that is the giant surprise so it has the um, picatinny weaver rail here uh, has the, the front and rear sights you know it's 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 weighty but it's not like you know where my shoulders pulling out it, you put a scope on it, it's going to have some weight behind it i i wouldn't want to lug this even though it has its slings for hunting uh even though i'm not a hunter but um it's actually kind of a cool rifle i'm glad i got it uh the long extension of the sights should be able to be pretty good for guys who have problems seeing like me um, as far as the under lever has this little gold thing here i guess you just press that out it slide it out this way and it releases i can only imagine what the tension of this is going to be like am i even in the picture eh, it's kind of firm but we're going to get rid of that spring anyway right so that's that's pretty firm now that spring is going to if you use it just going to have to break in somebody said they took two hands to cock theirs but it looks like a one-hander to me but anyway um it's nice it's interesting uh what a what a, it, it does look like it's really made well so we're going to have to get into this a little later on now i don't know if you can see is that even in the light and you think they can see any of that mm -hmm. should, should i hold it still so there it is there's your weaver rail there's your side um, sling st stud there and the other ones on the bottom here's some more grain on the other side not bad i like it 124 dollars on sale possibility of being able to be rebarreled magnum springer trigger you can actually work and do something with and of course I highly recommend the Vortex Springs for these Magnum guns, for the hats and Magnums. Look, there's no big deal about Vortex or versus JM um, Air Rifle Headquarters Springs. You buy the spring that fits your needs. Both of them carry springs for all your gun needs. It just depends on what you need and who's got the best thing available for it at the time. Vortex makes great springs for these Magnums and that's why I'm highly suggesting them and jm makes great stuff as well so let's not pit one against the other it's just part of our air gun stuff anyway this is mike saying i uh, got another gun uh, we're going to put this on the list down the road along with all the other things to look into but if you are mechanically inclined 
then I would say go get this gun. You'll be able to get into it. You'll be able to do something with it. And I think you're going to like it. Um, it's powerful, right? We know that. It's, uh, I think 800 feet per second is what you're going to get out of this in a 22. Um, and I don't see why not. It's kind of cool looking. So we'll have more on this later on. Have a great day. This is Mike saying thanks.